Nostalgia plays a big part in the ongoing appeal of the vintage trailer arena. Vintage trailers are hot these days, and there's a lot of good reasons for that. I know for me, one of the things that really brings it home to me when I step into one of these old trailers is this little guy up here. It's an authentic propane mantle lamp. And my parents' trailer, when I was a kid, had one of those lamps. This is from the mid-60s or so when we would go traveling. And when I step into a trailer that has that lamp burning, there's something about the smell of the propane that just immediately transports me back to Bonneville Hot Springs, um, the Oregon coast, going back to Chicago, any of the places that we visited as kids in that trailer. So this one, naturally, since this trailer has one of those, I can smell that and <sighs> kind of one of those little, little nostalgia hits that I really enjoy. Now this particular trailer obviously is a beautiful vintage style trailer. And I say vintage style because believe it or not, this is not a rebuilt trailer. This is a brand new trailer, new from the ground up, built by a fellow named Tom Underwood. Tom has an interesting approach for building his vintage trailers, so we'll meet him out here in a minute and uh, take a look at what he does. It's pretty darn impressive. The Tom Thumb vintage trailer is unlike any new RV you've ever seen. Uh, Tom Thumb trailers is an idea I had to uh, recreate the old style trailers only for someone to be able to have a, the old trailer, but have a brand new trailer at the same time. Uh, I got the idea um, many years ago. I, I, I probably built a hundred trailers in my mind, uh, going over uh, procedures and, and materials and so forth and doing research and uh, moved up to Oregon, got a shop here and my wife's been very supportive and I uh, started building Tom Thumb trailers. They're, uh, they're a reproduction of a 1950 rod and reel trailer. Uh, and I tried to keep as true, true to form as, as possible. My first love was classic cars. Love, love classic cars. I, I love to see them uh, restored. Um, uh, and a little bit of the customs too. But my, my father, I got that love from my father and my brother. Uh, they're both car enthusiasts. Uh, I still have my very first car I ever had. It was a 1963 Nova uh, Chevrolet. Uh, my brother still has his first car he ever had, a, a, a 1941 Chevrolet business coupe. So in the family, we, uh, we, we were always been involved with cars. Uh, and it kind of, it kind of uh, went hand in hand with the trailers in that uh, there are so many things um, are alike in the car. As a, as a car enthusiast than as a trailer enthusiast. And so I was able to take some of those things I learned from the cars and then things I've learned, um, abilities uh, from my father, and he was able to, uh, uh, I was able to use those in, in building the trailers. I'm the only one working on the trailers. Uh, it's uh, any mistakes you find, they're mine. I <laughs> can't, can't blame anyone else as of right now. Uh, we, we, I put, I'm planning on putting out about two trailers every six months. The trailers that I'm building, they, they really do look like the, the original trailer. When you walk into the trailer, it's like, the, it's like a going back in time. I was at a, a trailer rally with other trailer enthusiasts and I, I had one gentleman who examined the trailer very carefully, looked it up and down, and asked me what the trailer was. And I told him, well, it was a reproduction trailer based on a 1950 rod and reel. And he just went away shaking his head like, no, that can't be. I just, I'm just not gonna believe it. And, uh, uh, but it is, and uh, I, it's, it's that true to form and it's uh, 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 very, very genuine looking. Other things, uh, it's all birch paneling inside, uh, made, uh, finished with shellac, just like the originals were. We'll be back to learn more about the Tom Thumb trailers right after these commercial messages, so stay tuned. From off-the-road adventure camping to luxurious full-time RVing and everything in between, Forest River has the RV to fit your needs, budget, and outdoor lifestyle. To see our full line of trailers and motorhomes, visit Forest River Inc. 
Forest River. Begin the journey. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norco refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norco RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norco.com. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. Let's continue our look at Tom Thumb Trailers a vintage style RV built all new from the ground up. I make the frame myself. Uh, it's all uh, um, undercoated and then with a the frame paint on it, so it's a little bit of a rust preventative underneath there. In the original trailer, how they, make, how they made the curves in it. Everybody asked me, how'd you make the curves? Well, they used, uh, they cut strips of plywood and they, they laminated them or just lapped them over and made their curve. Well, I didn't use that. I used I used um, solid wood instead of the plywood. Um, in the original, if they ever, if they ever got a leak in there, once that water got into that plywood, it just expands like a sponge, yeah. and the whole trailer's ruined. This this can never happen. These are I put lam I laminated it with um, with solid wood in strips and made my with with uh, with clamps and uh, glue and screws and it's. Uh, it's very solid, very solid part of part of the framework. It's all in the original, original six-inch crease seams on it, uh, just like the original trailer. And over here is one of our our original windows that we've uh, restored, and we use this as a pattern for our new trailer. So they're identical in every form. This the uh, the, the only difference is the material used for the, the rubber is now a silicon instead of the old vinyl. So you won't have the shrinking like you have and you'll see in the other trailers where there'll be a big gap in your silicon or your, or your vinyl. So here we are at the reproduction trailer and this is one of the reproduction windows. They're made to be identical to the original windows in function and, and looks. You could take a piece off of this window and and interchange it with an original window and it would work just fine. They're that, they're that close in the specifications and, and work exactly the same as that, as the old awning style window. When you go into the trailer, you'll, you'll see that uh, right down to the welting around where the, where the wood meets, uh, it, will, uh, uh, it, it's like, it looks like the original. Um, the, the hardware I used, I couldn't find identical hardware, but I found period looking hardware, nickel plated it all is. Uh, that, that looks and has the feel of the, of the vintage trailer. A lot of times they were, they were, let's face it, they were manufacturing, they were putting out as many as they could as cheaply as possible. They didn't intend, intend for these to last 50 years. You know, they, they, just, they just weren't built that way. Um, I'm building these so that they will last. They really will if you take care of them. The, the dinette is, I used a reconstituted leather seating. Uh, the original was a vinyl, but this is, this is a leather. Uh, the the uh, draperies are all 100% uh, uh, cotton with a vintage print on them, so they have the feel of it. The light fixtures are uh, almost identical. They're still making a light fixture just, just very close to the original light fixture that was in there in 1950. Um, it, uh, it uses a full-size light bulb in there, just like in your home only, they're 12 volt light bulbs. So they're about a 50 watt bulb, and we've got three different light fixtures in there, so there's lots of light. And going along with the light, it also has uh, original type propane light in there too, for the, the old uh, over the table, and it, that puts out about a, a, a 50 watt, 60 watt uh, type light too. So you get that, get that feel with it, uh, like that you had in the original trailers with the propane lighting. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't put an oven in it, but it does have a stove. Uh, it has a three burner stove in it, well, propane. My Xbox, I made it the same design, only I made it out of a heavier duty steel and the coated steel in the inside so, there's, so it won't rust. Uh, it also has an inch and a half of insulation all around it, side, top, bottom, and uh, uh, Made the front a birch piece, a piece of birch wood on the front, so it matches the cabinet, so it doesn't uh, 
stand out and it fits right in. Uh, this trailer is not a trailer for everybody. It's not, it's not a trailer for a family of five. It's not going to fit in it. It's, you know, it's 12 feet long. Uh, it's, it's very true to the original scale of the trailers. Um, it has a surprisingly a, a, a large amount of storage for a small trailer. It really does. Uh, but it is, it is really for those people who, who want that retro feel, but don't have the, maybe the time or the skills to redo an old trailer, because they're pretty hard to find when they're just ready to go. Uh, so this, is, this allows the people to have that old trailer feel. They can participate. Most, most rallies, they're welcome with these, with these trailers. And uh, uh, those trailer rallies are a fun time. They are really, really a blast. You get to meet a lot of nice people and go to a lot of nice places. And uh, uh, it's, it's just a real good, wholesome family time. Uh, if anybody's in the uh, Salem, Oregon area, um, I'd love to show you around, love to show you firsthand uh, trailers. Uh, you, you just give me a call. Uh, I've got a website. You can go to TomThumbTrailers.com and you can contact me that or you can call me on the phone and uh, we can, you can come on over and take a look and I'll show you around, give you the nickel tour. Well, that's a pretty interesting look at these Tom Thumb trailers. Definitely built unlike anything else on the market. And if you'd like to learn more about it, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. And thank you for watching.